baseball fans and welcome a great night for baseball ahead on the show it's the Seattle Mariners and the Detroit Tigers first pitch coming your way next coming up on the first pitch today's starting pitcher Tarek Skubal how about a report on him Chris it's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day when he's right he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot the same tunnel and that can make life very difficult on his opponents JP Crawford in the box now take strike one This one popped up. And there's one down. Now Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Julio Rodriguez in the box now takes strike one. As a pitcher you don't want to throw him get me over fastballs just for strikes. You really need to command your pitches to this guy at the plate. Next one misses and one and one. One out base is empty. Swing and a miss and that's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Got it! And two away now. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Up and in, and that is ball one. Scoobal, 27 years old, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2018. Out towards right center field. Green settles under it. And that is that. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here with my pal Singy. And today on the hill, Luis Castillo. What do we need to know here? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in a bat. Next offering is for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Gosh, here it is, hit it. Three pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Three. Here's Riley Green. That's in there. That's strike one. The wind of the pitch. Fall off foul. And a swing and a miss. 
And that quickly, two away. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo oh. shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Spencer okay. Torkelson stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And a big swing and a miss. Looks really sharp at the start of this one. This is how it's going to be today. It's going to be a tough one for this lineup. That one fouled hard the other way. Pitch is in the dirt. Now two and two. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Second inning set to go. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Mitch Garver. And here it comes. Yes. And that drops in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Man, it's second. That misses the zone. One and one. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. Booth Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well respected umpire in the league. And a pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Right he goes here. down looking. That is good. And now the catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. Just missed. One out. The go-ahead run is its second. Here at the top of the second. Next offering is down low. Tigers bullpen with some action. Shelby Miller, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Chafin, the lefty, warming up as well. Good hitters count the 2-0. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. One strike. Check swing, no appeal. Here comes a pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. One down. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And a pitch. And fouled off. Two on, one out. That to right. Green settles under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Now the left fielder, Luke Raley. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. You try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that one fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. 
Just off the inside edge. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, two outs. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Second inning here, no score. And a swing and a miss. Third out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Of inning number two. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. That one catches the zone. That's strike two. The pitch. That one, one missed. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. So a change being made out at second and coming in as the Tigers pinch runner Matt Veerling. He's a potential winning run so they're hoping he could score at a base hit. Here's Mark Canna. Right through there for a strike. The winning run on second base. Out to short, Crawford. Throws across the diamond. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting six, the second baseman. And here is Colt Keith. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. finds the zone and it's 0-1 activity in the bullpen Carlos Vargas the hard throwing righty is up and loosening both also throwing swing and a miss 0-2 I guess you throw it that hard you can get away with locations like that right down the middle but I still think it's a dangerous pitch don't want to do it again Swing and a miss struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Now into the game, Matt Veerling. He takes over as the new first baseman. Number eight. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. As the lefty gets to work. And that one fouled off.
And it's second. Left center base hit. Headed for the plate. He will score and they take the lead. 1-0. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base and now they'll try to add on. No outs. Runner at first. Here's Luis Arias. Down the middle for a strike. Oh, no. Going one. Runner at first with no outs here. And it's one and one. And the pitch. That one fouled off. The pitch. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And no swing, says James Kingsley. Swing and a miss. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, he just had no answer for that hard inside fastball right there. Just blew it by it. And not every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two strikes. They don't want to hit a batter and waste an opportunity to put him away. But if you can locate that fastball just like he did, most hitters aren't looking for it. And it becomes very difficult to get a piece of. So the batting order turns over. J.P. Crawford will hit next. That one a little bit high. Ball one. And another ball. And that one is inside. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that clips the inside corner. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. At the belt and fires. And, and it's low. ball four. He missed down low. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. No. And that one's a little bit low. And it's one to know. Runners at first and second with one gone. That's outside. And now 2-0. Oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two on, one out. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. There's one over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. It's baseball and it's back here in Detroit. Set for the bottom of the third. Down the third baseman, Gio Urshela. And the right hander back to work. And there's the strike. In today's game, outs are valuable. So guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. Slider misses outside. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Drops into the glove. Runner tags at second and he's in safely at third with one out. Batting eight. Not shortstop. Javier. Javier. Javier Baez digs in right side. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The ball. shortstop takes the ball. One ball. No straight. And the right-hander deals. 
Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. With the winning run at the plate here in the last half of the third. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Hanniger going back, grabs it right up against the wall. He'll score on the sack fly. We're tied at one. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. Ball one, no strikes. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. He got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Next pitch is outside. Two out spaces empty. Just missed. Parker Meadows up next. Two down, nobody on. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. On to inning number four. All tied, 1-1. One, one. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Jorge Polanco. Google back to work. And that one clips the corner. No ball. One strike. Man at second. And there's the strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Now here is Mitch Garver. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Line drive. That's a base hit. Here's Rodriguez trying to score. He'll score, and the Mariners take the lead. It's two to one. Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. Fastball for a strike. 0 oh 1. And now the lefty late with the swing there. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. Right through there. Got him. And there's two away. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. France stands in now and watches strike one. 
Garver. The runner at first with two gone. Next offer in there for a strike. And it's not again two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball. Show. Back in Comerica Park. On a four. Now it's going to be Riley Green. Green. The pitch. There's the strike. Swing and a miss. Well, okay. he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going. Got him! And one away. No, well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, no, but certainly got no away way. with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down Here in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. Came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. one ball. Okay. And that's downstairs and outside. Ball. That one off the mark. And that's ball, ball two. Okay. Trying to close out a one run lead. Here, yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Late swing fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Swing and a miss as he was late. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Slider misses outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Just one out remaining for the Tigers. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So they're down to their final out. Next is the Tigers DH. Kerry Carpenter trying to deliver as the hero. Got a good eye there. With the tying run at second, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. Fall off foul. Runner edges away at second. Out to short. Crawford whips it to first on the run. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. Well, it was a tough day at the plate for the hitters. Only able to scratch out a couple of hits, but some really good pitching, some good defense. You don't expect to win the game when you only put up two hits, but somehow they found a way to get it done. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.